Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. As we continue our detailed look at expression maps in Dorico, let's examine note conditions and what they can do. Essentially, note conditions take a particular property of a note and allow the switch to take effect only when certain criteria is met for that property. Expression maps in Dorico currently support the length of notes as a note condition. In other words, you can trigger a switch to take effect only when the note is a certain length, when it isn't a certain length, or when it is longer or shorter than a certain length. Why might that be useful? Well, perhaps a sound preset that you're using is great for playing long notes. But faster notes aren't quite as effective. They might blend together and not be heard as individual notes. Maybe it would be better to switch to, say, the preset's staccato techniques for shorter notes. But you don't want to have to place staccato articulations on all shorter notes. By setting a note condition, you can specify a switch action is triggered when a note is, say, less than or equal to short. What does short actually mean here, though? Well, we've chosen the term note length carefully, as we don't just mean note duration. We take duration into account, of course, but only within the context of the current tempo. Consider a quarter note, or crotchet, at a tempo of between about 80 and 160 beats per minute, we consider this to be a medium length note. At a slower tempo, we think of it as a long note, and at a faster tempo, it is considered to be a short note. This ripples out across all note durations to give a mapping that looks something like this. Let's look at an example. In this project, my cellos are playing a lot of long double stopped notes. I'm using the Spitfire Audio Hans Zimmer Strings Library, which has some lovely presets for these sorts of passages. I'll want to use the long technique, as that supports the polyphonic playback required for these double stops. However, there are a few moments with some shorter notes and a bit of movement, and these passages aren't quite as effective played by the long technique. The legato technique is perfect here, but of course, it's monophonic. It's not really appropriate to use slurs here to trigger a change to the legato technique. Let's create a new expression map and set the natural switch to use a key switch that triggers the long technique. Then let's duplicate that switch, because remember, we still want this to be for the natural state of the instrument. Add a key switch for the legato technique, but then also add a note condition to trigger the switch only when the note length is less than or equal to medium. At this tempo, that means all notes of a quarter note duration or less will play using the preset's legato technique. Longer notes will use the long technique. Let's play this passage and keep an eye on the VST instrument as it switches between the long and legato techniques. And that's expression map note conditions here in Dorico. You're probably beginning to get a sense now for how not only can expression maps help achieve the best use of different sound libraries, but how you might want to tweak them for specific projects, such as how we have for the cellos in this video. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Please do like the video if you have. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to the Dorico channel to see more like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.